We're about to get on a boat from the Sea of Galilee. There's the boat, there's Galilee, there's Corey. the Titanic. Run of the bear. Pastor Darren. Pastor Darren bringing the word. He fed the 5,000 right over there, correct? Yeah. No, or is that where he did? What happened on the boat? Is it on this boat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, on the boat, boat back. Yeah, the the boat back it could have been this boat. It's, uh, pretty old. It's, it's, it's a pretty old boat. Maybe they just kept stacking on top of it. One particular time when Jesus got on the boat, uh, they sailed. He said, look, let's go to the other side. And so Jesus literally got in the boat. On this water. On this water. You guys water. move to the side so he can Yeah. <laughs> in the Bible, when you read it, they were across this water, correct? Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. Man. They were on this water. That's amazing. So another cool story you can read in the Gospels, man, is where Peter literally was hanging out. And uh, they were fishing. Next thing you know, they, they look out in this water. And they think a ghost is kind of coming up to them. And all of a sudden they realize Jesus. it's Jesus, man. Oh my gosh, they see him walking on it. He's walking across this water that they've been on thousands of times in their life. Like these dudes were fishermen. They know you can't just walk on water. Here's Jesus approaching them. And here's a cool thing about this. I don't know where you can uh, resonate with different people, but Peter, who gets in trouble a lot. All the time. Peter, kind of a hothead, he's if a, you will. He's a little hothead, but Peter decides he's gonna do something. And that is, he's going to jump out, and he's going to take a step on the water. He sees Jesus doing it, he's like, well, why can't I? He looks down, but also, it says some wind started coming up as well. Oh, so he got scared. Team, so he got scared. Yep. Looked around him, got his eyes off of Jesus. Yep. Next thing you know, he began to sing. Start singing, because he's not focused on the right thing. Jesus talked to him about having little faith, but then it, what I love about this, because here, here's the thing, I think Peter gets a bad rap. Because he blew it? Yeah. He really didn't blow it. No, he was the only one that stepped out there. The only one that stepped out. And yep. when he stepped out, he only walked a few feet. He began to sink, but guess what happened? Jesus came up and picked him up. Here's what I love about that story. Because sometimes we step out, we think we want to do something in faith. We fail immediately, but failure is not the final. No. And so what happened again, we see here's Jesus going back and restores confidence again. Yep. And so I think it's a cool thing for all of us to remember. Sometimes we step out in faith, and sometimes we find ourselves failing, but here's the cool thing about Jesus. Jesus is always offering a hand to pick us back up, yep. and then give us confidence again. But our confidence remains in keeping our eyes on Jesus. This is, I'm telling you this though, this is what I love about this site, because there's no doubt this is the road. I mean, literally, there's, there's... It had to be. It had to be. They had so to come that's through that. come through the valley. Remember, Nazareth is on the other side, so we would oh. travel down. We went to that little city today. Yeah. And then he would walk through. God, I just give you thanks for your peace. Truly, you are our shalom, Lord God. And God, I just speak right now in the midst of the storm, whatever anybody's facing, Lord, we pray that all of us can keep our eyes on you, knowing that you're greater than the storm, but also confident to know here today that you want to get us to the other side. So God, by faith, we look ahead, but Lord, we also just take one step at a time, Lord, because ultimately that's what you called us to do, to trust you. So God, whatever storm we're facing, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, we speak peace in that storm. And God, we just give you thanks, Lord. Right here on the Sea of Galilee, let your peace right now just rule and reign in our hearts but also peace in our souls, Lord. And we just give you thanks in Jesus' name, amen. Uh, I mean, they, that's when they started dancing. They started dancing. They started yes. dancing. No, no. Dance. You know you can look sick dancing on some water, that's yeah. for sure. Pastor Darren, everybody, bringing it. <laughs> <Pretty much so. laughs>